Today is a good day. I'm adding a modification to my 2018 Toyota Tacoma that I've been wanting to add for a super long time. A tent over the truck bed right here. It's like a two level, second story tent that just unfolds in minutes and then their ladder pops down that you can just go camping anywhere. It's awesome. I will link everything that I purchased down in the video description. Most of it I got off of Amazon and eBay. There's these metal racks right here that go over the truck bed so you can still use the space underneath the tent for storage. And then the actual tent itself, which is right here, I think it was around 900 bucks. I'll, the price is in the video description with that link. But uh, yeah, let's install this thing and uh, take it for a spin. Let's get started. All right, so one thing that I wanna point out, this is a third gen 2018, but right here we have another Tacoma. This is a second gen, and the racks and the tent fit both of them. So right now my buddy Brax is unboxing the racks here, which these ones are the cheapest ones I was able to find on Amazon. There's some pretty expensive racks that sit in the back, but realistically, I'm probably not gonna be camping that often. I just want the option. So I didn't wanna spend you know thousands of dollars for that metal rack for the tent. One cool thing about these racks though is that there's this metal little clip thing right here where I can put one of those jacks or like a shovel in between the two bars when they're mounted on the truck. And the hardware here kind of look like this. So this little niblet right here will sit inside of these bed rails, which both the third gen and the second gen have. And then the bolts right here will just connect to the rack itself and hold it in place. All right, we'll set those into place for now and unbox the tent. I think there's, is there a pad in here too? Nice. Awesome. That opens right up. So one thing I'm worried about right now is that it doesn't have a ladder or a cover, or at least I can't see anything. Cause like in the pictures on Amazon, it has the ladder place and the cover when it's mounted on a vehicle. So we're gonna open this thing up and see if it's inside, but I have my doubts. Oh Ooh, yeah, something. it's in there. What do we got, Brax? That looks like the cover for when it's on the top of the truck. Perfect. And there's the ladder. Perfect, all right. Turns out we do have everything. Good. Going in the tent for the first time. It has a pad inside, which is pretty nice. I'm about six feet tall. Let me see here. With my legs completely at one end of the mattress, I have room to reach my arm completely up to the top. It's pretty spacious. You could put like backpacks and stuff up here and still have room for uh, plenty of space down at the bottom. The tent does say it was designed to sleep two or three people. I would say two very comfortably, three. Normally I would just fit two in here or like two people in a kit or something like that. Okay, so right here we have the rail sitting on top and then this is what's gonna mount the tent to the rails. We'll get to that in a second. And then right here we have the ladder. I'm currently mounting the hardware into the frame that connects to the ladder, which will drop down from that second story position above my truck. And so I'm using these bolts right here with the one large washer sticking through the bottom with the washer on the bottom side, the tent side. Once those are in, I'll be able to bolt the ladder on and then we can lift the whole thing up into place after we mount it to these rails. So I'm gonna interject here for a second on Zach's video. When you're mounting the rails to the bottom of the tent, the bolts that you wanna use are the smaller bolts. So there's two sizes of bolts. You have the smaller one and then the larger ones. These larger ones are gonna mount the tent to the bed bars. Smaller ones, you're gonna put through, you're gonna put through right here and then that's gonna mount into those holes. To get access to these bolts, you do have to open up the tent a little bit and go underneath the mattress. There's a door on either side of the tent, obviously. And then you can find these little holes and then stick the little bolts through. Now we'll put on that silver rail. So when you're sliding the nuts into the rail to mount onto the bottom of the tent, you're gonna slide the nut in this rail right here. It's gonna slide up to the mounting point, and then you have the washer and the bolt on the back side. There we go. All right, so that's one of the rails. We'll do the same thing for the other rail down at the bottom, and then we'll plop the whole thing on top of the uh, bed mounts, the bed rack. All right, hardware for these rails are actually pretty simple. It's the same on all four sides. I'm just gonna take this little black metal bit and slide it into the rail to the point that I want it. 
pretty straightforward. And then I can drop this down over top and bolt it in from this side. And it's done. So they're loosely tacked into place right now so we can still make some minor adjustments once we get the uh, tent installed over there. Because we're not exactly sure how far we want it situated in relation to the tailgate and the cab of the truck. But we'll figure that out. All right, so I think that thing weighs about 120 pounds. That's without the ladder installed, so two people is probably a good idea to put that into place. All right, so we have it up, and then as far as the bars go, I wanted the tent to be pretty well centered on the racks right here, but I also wanted the racks to be the same distance right here and on the other side. So I think I have eight inches here and then 13 inches here. So we'll uh, tighten everything in and then secure the bottom of the tent with the circular bar. We got bracks inside the truck. <laughs> And then right here, we are mounting the uh, tent to the bed rails. Now the thing, the bed rails that we have are a little bit thicker than what the mounting hardware planned for. So these are the original bolts right here. And what we ended up using is an M8 1.25 by 65 millimeter which is just a tiny bit longer because these bolts that came with the kit weren't long enough to fit over this bar. So these are the 65 millimeters that we went and bought at Home Depot. I'll try to link some down in the video description so you can just buy everything at the same time. But yeah, maybe other bed rails will work with the kit hardware, but ours did not. All right, everything should be mounted up. We have the tent attached to the bed rails and the bed rails attached to the truck. Brax, is it gonna fall off? Not nah, solid. Let's get the cover on and uh, we'll give it a try. I just unfolded it like you saw from the drone shots. Um, the ladder is super sturdy. It's on the ground. It looks like it can extend a little bit more if I needed it to. These metal bars right here that are holding up the, the flaps above the windows, they go in just little holes underneath the frame right here. Then we have the windows from the outside and everything is super sturdy when you're inside. I mean, obviously you want to park on some flat ground so you don't have to worry about rolling into the next person while you're sleeping. And then uh, how does the inside look? Oh, it's ready to go. Let me show you. You've got your sunroof there. If the rain fly is off, then you can actually unzip this zipper. You can look through straight to the sky, see the stars. There are two windows on each side. I guess this would be the back door. Front door, pretty comfortable pad. You could probably fit three in here comfortably too. Pretty sweet. So obviously it's pretty windy right now, but actually taking this camping when it's night and not windy, I think is gonna be pretty fun. It's just one more way to accessorize a vehicle, an off-roading vehicle that you already have. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. We will be around to answer all those. And if you haven't checked out Braxton's channel, I'll leave a link for that right here as well. Thanks a ton for watching, and I will see you around.